Greg Lays here, so let's talk today about pool, patio, and deck plants. I'm standing here by some palms. Greenery is always good, especially around the pool, you know. The palms are very, very adaptable to the sun and the heat of our uh, Michigan summer times. And then I've got some beautiful ferns here. Look how that fills in that space. So this would be good around the pool. But of course, then we always want color. So look at these colorful deck plants that I have here. The lower ones there, the multicolored ones are called a croton. They like the sun and they have multiple colors as you can see. So that's really gonna make your greenery pop when you put something colorful in front of them like that. Then the taller ones next are shrimp plants. And doesn't that look like shrimp? I mean, that just looks like the tail on a, on a delicious shrimp, doesn't it? And that color is really pretty. Those are uh, gonna bloom all summer long like that. So all these things that are blooming will last well toward Halloween. So you got a lot of bang for your buck, so to speak, with these kind of plants on your pools, patios, and decks. And then, of course, I got those beautiful orange exoras, that orange tree form there. Look at how beautiful that is against those ferns. That orange just really, really stands out. So you've got greenery, you've got greenery for the texture, then you've got the color. But how do you keep everything looking as nice as it looks now? Well, they need fertilizer and they need water. Most of these things will need to be watered a couple times a week and then fertilized with our blooming and rooting. This blooming and rooting fertilizer will keep everything looking beautiful all summer long, right up to Halloween. For Ginger Valley, this is Greg Lays.